Hey everyone, it's the Techzone here. I'm going to show you how to get free website hosting for your website so that you don't have to pay like a couple of bucks just to host your website. But here are the drawbacks. Your website's not going to be .com or .org, .co.uk or anything like that. It's going to be .co.cc and your hosting, okay, it's not extremely perfect but it is good enough to um, host a website. So here is the folder with all my files. You must have a folder with everything in it. Your home page, your other pages, your images, everything. Once you got that folder ready, uh, keep it somewhere secure if anyone else is using the computer. Then for the hosting you're going to go to lockernerd.co.uk and you're going to click on register. Now this is the host I use, lockernerd. And uh, now let's type in a username, test123, password, okay, email address, oh, okay, site category, software down, I don't care, English, of course it is, 4F EBF, register, click me to continue. Account name is already in use. Okay, let me just uh, correct the errors and then I'll get back to you. Now, if everything goes well, you should get the image verification. Real Tours Register. And it should send an activation email to your email address. So I'll uh, activate it and I'll show you what to do. Okay, just click the link in your activation email and you should get another. Uh, activation, I mean, uh, cap, uh, image verification image, and now you should get your settings. Now you, now here's one thing you have to remember. You're going to highlight the control panel, panel username. Just copy that, and now just scroll down and uh, click, click here to log into your Vista panel, which is your uh, hosting control panel. We're going to paste that username, type in the password, and click login. Oh yeah, password again. Right. Uh, okay, let's log in. I'm not gonna save the password because I already have a host. And now this is your control panel. You can um, set up the website and all that here. Check the settings, your bandwidth. Now uh, let's take a tour. You can create subdomains. Um, Subdomains, pretty much hopeless. Uh, subdomains are really hopeless. Lockinder.uk. You don't want these host names, yeah. So, um, which is why we're gonna get a free domain name, .co.cc, and this is how we're gonna make a domain name. So first of all, type in the domain name you want. Let's type in test one two three four five six seven eight nine. I don't know why I'm putting all that. But here's one thing you need to make note of. Just look. Uh, if it's already registered, then uh, test B. What the heck is that? Let me type in something else. Uh, Take zone rules. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, just put that in. Let's see what happens. Is available. Okay, if this is available. Now it should say one year domain registration for zero dollars. It has to say zero dollars. If it says three dollars, then you have to pay. If it says zero, then you can use it. Click continue to registration. You have to register register to the website. So now you have to create a uh, .co.cc account and five sign in. Just make an account, it's easy. Okay, and now it should say that the domain is successfully registered. Now this is how you set up your domain name so that it can be linked with the host. So you're gonna go to uh, under domains here in the home uh, home page. You're gonna go to add-on domains and go back to that code.cc website. You're gonna click on setup. You just see the expiry. Well, once it expires on that date, 
you have to renew it again by registering it on the website. Okay, you're gonna enable name server, name server one and two. To enable that, you're just gonna go to uh, back to the host website. Your domain name, however, let's uh, highlight this and paste it there. Okay, uh, code.cc. Um, and after that, name service to use, you're going to copy the first one. And over here, name server 1 will be that. Name server 2 will be this. And name server 2 will be that. Just paste it over there. And once you're done, click Setup. And over there, click Add Domain. Now this is done. At the same time, the changes will be submitted over there. The final step is to upload your files onto the host and browse your website so that it could be public. Now we're going to close that .co.cc thing. We're not going to use that anymore. Under File Manager, you're going to go to the Online File Manager. Now this is going to be uh, a little tricky. So over here, you should get a couple of folders. You're going to go to text your domain name, textonrules.co.cc htdocs and, and then go to Java upload this is the step where you're going to upload your files and it's going to be public so upload directories now the reason why I'm using the Java uh, applet is because um, it's easier and you can upload multiple files at the same time so desktop uh, then the website I think it's this one yeah it's this one um, website add files number of files 4 just 1 and B so just let it upload and I'll show you what to do okay so it's 100 percent and now it's done so after that what we're gonna do is click this blue back button now there's, all, there's one drawback that a Java applet only uploads maximum 2 MB so you must use a client I use uh, FileZilla. I'll show you a tutorial on it. And now your website is uploaded. And what we're going to do is um, now once this loads up, you're going to go to Add Files, find your website folder, select your two files. The home page should be called index.html. Click Add Files, and you're going to upload them. Now here's the drawback: uh, the Java uploader only uploads maximum 2 MB or 4 MB at the same time so I recommend getting FileZilla which will uh, it's a uh, software which uploads files to your FTP server which is this one and um, it's easier for you so I'll finish the upload and I'll show you what to do okay it's 100 percent after that it should give all these texts over here what the processes are and uh, once you're done, let's click this blue back button. And, and now these are your files uploaded to the FTP server. All we have left to do is now check if the website is working. So let's type in that URL you registered. .co.cc And now this is your website. It works. So there you go. Now your website is public to everyone. And now you have successfully uploaded your website. Now you have, whenever you uh, make changes to the website, probably in Adobe Dreamweaver or in anything like that, you will need to upload the files again to the FTP server. So that that's the pretty much um, challenging part you have to do. But it's not really that challenging. It's kind of fun. So, uh, yeah. So um, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why don't you subscribe for more? So thanks for watching and have a great day.